Of course. And, uh, you know, I'm going to start off with the sister Yaffa Bay because I was listening in on her show that she did on Abundance Child the other night. I'm just going to ask both the questions back to back, and then they can just respond back to back. Yaffa Bay said that we shouldn't be using the term Moorish if if I'm not, if I uh, listen to what she was saying correctly, you know, which is kind of strange because Nobu Ali called us. Moorish Americans. I don't think that he would have given us a name that we were not supposed to use. And what we're dealing with the suffix ish, from my understanding, it means, you know, it has a dual meaning. One means kind of, sort of, and the other one means belonging to. Like British means those who belong to the Brits, English, Irish, so forth, and so on. I would like her explanation on that because I'm lost on that. To the brother Taj Tariq Bay, on a video I heard uh, on YouTube, I heard you say that uh, CM Bay was carrying on the, uh, the movement of Nobu Bu Ali. Well, when I read the Clock of Destiny, he said uh, it does not take finance to uplift the nation. I believe he said religion is for people who can't read. And there were several other statements that were, you know, uh, apparent obviations to what Noble Drew Ali taught us. So I would like for you to explain your position on that because I'm, you know, kind of confused when I hear people that, you know, hold up more or Moorish or Moorish science and, you know, I hear teachings that appear to me to be off from what Noble Drew Ali taught. So I would definitely like some clarification on, on those questions, please. Okay, since you put the question to me first, First of all, I do not recall saying that one should not use more ish. Now, ish means the things that you suggested, but it also means male, and I'm not male. But more than that, what I said was, if you know anything about English grammar, which is what we speak, then you should know what a noun is, what a pronoun is, what an adjective is, what an adverb is, and what a verb is. More ish in front of American makes more ish an adjective that describes the proper noun which is American. More is a proper noun. American is a proper noun. More-ish is an adjective. It is not a nationality. It is a descriptive word that describes a phenotype describing what someone looks like or appears to be, unless you want to transliterate it into its meaning in the language that it is, which is Dutch-German, and it is a Dutch-German way of saying Morisco, and a Morisco is someone that is like a Moor that was converted to Christianity, therefore they're not really quite a Moor any longer. Now, anybody can call themselves Moorish American, African American, Black American, Colored American, or whatever one would like to call themselves. I am saying to you that Moorish is not a nationality, and Moorish American is not a nationality. American is a nationality. Moorish is a descriptive adjective that describes what type of American one is. So I'm saying that our people should jump on the bandwagon of being American. That's great that this is McGreeve, and that's great that this is a Mexum, but keep it simple. Do not cloud everything up and create additional gray areas that we do not need to have. One, when we got affirmative action, equal employment opportunity, uh, 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 things going on, other people stepped in and said, hey, hold up, we want that too. If you say you're African, Europeans can step in and claim that because African, the very first time it was ever used, it was invented by Europeans for Europeans, applicable only to Europeans. The term black really means what you call white. The term Moorish, it could mean Mauritania. It could mean Morocco. Keep it simple. Let's not cloud everything. No one can be American except the copper-colored races that were here in America when the Europeans showed up, and based on that, our people need to jump on that bandwagon because that is the last legal thing on the books. We need to take it back as Americans, and once you get it back as an American, you can call it whatever you want it. But right now, we need to take what belongs to us, and American is ours and is only ours. Okay, I, I just want to say right quick, I mean, that, that sounded good, but can you back that up with some type of, documentation because man knows not by being told and you know it just sounded like you just freestyle some stuff off the top of the head i need i would like wow. and knows more so that we can stop a lot of this confusion going on some clarity because when we 
we're looking at what ish means in the English sense of the word, especially when it is relating to a nation, it means more ish. And if you're saying that we're not Moorish Americans, then you're saying that Prophet Nobu Ali never made us a nation called Moorish Americans. So that's kind of, you know, that that's kind of off to me. And I, you know, I hear you, I hear you talking, and like I said, it sounds good. It sounds good, but I mean, you know, to a trained ear, I mean, it's just it's not right and exact, sister, because the prophet came and called us Moorish Americans. The standard English says that ish means belonging to. So he let us know that we belong to the Moorish nation that was uh, that he put in chapter 48 when he said that we are a clean and pure nation of Moors. So, I mean, you know, I, you know, I, that didn't clear it up for me. You know, I would like the brother Tars to uh, answer the next question, please. No, hold on, hold on. Before I want to interject that you asked the sister a question, she gave you her answer, you rebutted the answer, and then you said that you don't want her to answer the question. That's not how we do it on question and answer. You're going to have to allow her to address what you just addressed to her because she gave you some kind she gave you what she gave you her knowledge and you said it sounds good. Now that's disrespectful to the knowledge. So let her clarify her statement, brother, please. And, and that's okay. I understand where the brother's coming from. Believe it or not, there are a lot of people that feel that way, particularly people that are Moorish science temple oriented, and that's fine. However, everything that I said was not a freestyle off the top of my head. That is based on knowledge of the English language, what an adjective is. That's based on looking up the origins of the word Moorish. That's all based on looking up the origins of the word ish. But let me say this to you. When it comes to what Prophet Noble Drew Ali set up, because the temples were so highly and heavily infiltrated by melanin-rich people working for the oppressor that pulled a lot of documentation out, put a lot of documentation in, changed certain things, we don't know for a fact what Noble Drew Ali really said unless you are reincarnate, him, or you know someone that was there that you can guarantee they were not an agent. How do you know who the agents were? But because of the fact that the temple was infiltrated, they could have put in or wrote in whatever they wanted to, because I still say Moorish is a descriptive word. Now, in as much as Noble Drew Ali registering us, registering us as that, I have asked repeated brothers and repeated people, in order for me to accept Moorish American as a nationality, especially when I know that American is a nationality and Moorish is an adjective that describes the nationality, what I want to see that no one has been able to deliver for me, and until I see it, I'm not accepting it as a nationality because it isn't one. Until someone shows me that Noble Drew Ali went to the Pan-American uh, conference in 1928 and officially registered our people, all the variations of the Americans here, as Moorish American on the record, for the record, that is the verbiage that he used, and that's how it was written, unless and until someone can show me official documentation that we know for a fact was not usurped or infiltrated or put in by someone else of some other race that's trying to oppress us and continue to steal our birthright because, after all, the United States, which is a foreign occupation, is sitting over there in what was the Pan-American Conference and now calls itself the, uh, 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 what is it, the uh, original American states or the uh, something about the OAS. I forget what the OAS stands for. But other people are sitting in our seats even as that, and for all I know, Moorish American may be the thing that they're using to do that. Because ish can make anybody more ish. If you're like a more, a whole lot of people can be like a more. Now, if you have the documentation that you can show me that shows officially that that's what we were registered as, if that's how we were registered on paper and that's what we were documented to be, that may be what we have to use in order to get it back because that's how the brother registered us. But I don't know anyone else that can show me the proof that that's how it was registered. And, again, I don't know who the agents were in the Moorish Science Temple. 